So if you've watched the last two videos that I've done on my channel here, you will see that TubeBuddy is a pretty integral part of planning, organizing, and batching most of my content here on YouTube. As a busy content creator myself, running a multi six-figure YouTube production agency, and moonlighting as a virtual kindergarten teacher, I really need to make sure the time I'm putting into these videos actually pays off for me, aka I need to have ROI on these videos. As in, I need to be making videos that you're going to watch, that I'm going to drive more students to my business or even more clients to my agency. So I want to show you how you can get started with TubeBuddy so you can also ensure you're going to get ROI in the time you put into creating videos for YouTube. And I'm also going to help you figure out how to get more views on your videos by using some of my favorite TubeBuddy tools. Now before I take you over to my screen and walk you through everything inside of TubeBuddy, let me quick introduce myself if you've never been to my channel. My name is Trina. I am a YouTube strategist with a master's in business and this channel is all about helping you grow your business organically with online video. Now if that sounds like your cup of tea, make sure you hit subscribe because you're not going to want to miss any of these videos on Wednesdays when they go live. Let's get started with TubeBuddy. The first thing you want to do is make sure you have TubeBuddy installed into your Google Chrome. So what you'll do is you'll go to the Chrome store, chrome.google.com, type in TubeBuddy and right there it is, you'll want to download that. Then you want to create an account here on TubeBuddy. When you are connecting your account to your Google account, in your YouTube channel, you're going to see that TubeBuddy wants access to your channel for certain things. Now you need to understand this is 100% okay. TubeBuddy, as you can see, is verified with YouTube. It's YouTube certified, so it is okay. The reason why TubeBuddy needs access to your channel is so they can pull all of that data to help you position your videos better. They're not gonna delete your videos. They're not gonna take over your channel or anything. They just need your data to help provide you even better information in their tool. So just a heads up. Now let's talk about the pricing options real quick. If you want 20% off of any of these pricing options, there's a link in the description box below for you to go to my affiliate link. Yes, it's my affiliate link, but you can also get 20% off by using the code Trina's buddy. Now, where I think is a great place to start is Star. You're gonna get a lot of the options that I'm going to share with you here in a little bit. You could also get by with Pro as well. Now the only thing that makes Legend for me that I need to have is the A-B testing. So a lot of this bulk processing is if you have a lot of videos and stuff, but the Legend gives you the A-B testing for your thumbnails and your titles. So that's what makes it super valuable for me and I do have Legend. If you do have under 1,000 subscribers, you can also click this little button and get discount rate on the pro. So you only have to pay $450 a month for the pro if you have less than a thousand subscribers. So these are the options that you can pick from. You can pay monthly or you can get a bit of a discount if you pay in full for the year and you can also get 20% off with my code Trina's buddy. So let me share with you what I use and how you can get started with TubeBuddy. So I always go right up into here and the biggest thing that I use that I've talked about in a lot of my videos, if you watch my videos on how I plan and organize my videos, I will link right here. This is huge for this process. So I will go to the keyword explorer and it will really help me figure out how to position my videos. What topic should I talk about to make sure it's being searched enough and that it's not too competitive. So for example, I will go in here and say how to make chocolate chip cookies, okay? I will click on this and what this is going to show me in the overall score is that this is technically a good term to go after. This keyword is fairly competitive, but it's searched often enough that it's good to go after. So it gives you this little gauge to let you know how well that topic is going to be for you. It's also gonna give you a weighted and unweighted score. So a weighted takes into account your channel and what your channel's authority is on. So you can actually see how well your channel is going to do with your channel's authority with the weighted version. The next thing you're seeing in the score analysis is the search volume. So you can see that this has excellent search volume. It's being searched a lot. In fact, number of monthly searches right here is over 286,000 thousand times a month how to make chocolate chip cookies is searched. Next, you're gonna see the competition and you can see this is poor because it is so highly competitive. So what you're looking for is something that's not as competitive, especially as you're getting started on YouTube. So you would wanna see this somewhere in the yellow or to green area to know that's a good topic for you to go after. And then this one right here, the optimization strength is telling you how well the videos that are on YouTube are optimized. And you can see that they're pretty well optimized. So again, that's why it's gonna make it a little bit harder for you to break out 
out for just this topic. Now the other thing that I use right here as well is since this was a poor topic, TubeBuddy is giving me related video searches that may help me determine which direction to take this video idea. So you can see right here are actual video searches that I could do and also video topics. So I can go right here to video search and say, hmm, what's a different direction? Let's make how to make chocolate chip cookies without eggs. I can click on that and you can see this is a much better topic to go after. I have more of an opportunity to get my video seen and ranked and optimized well on YouTube. The last thing on this particular page that I like is these common video tags. What I love here is I can just go through here and click all of these tags that describe the video that I'm talking about. I can go to this action, copy to clipboard and automatically copy all my tags if you watch that video where I talk about planning and organizing my content, I just copy and paste this right into my Asana card with all of my video information. So easy, so simplified, just perfect. The next thing I wanna show you when you're getting started on TubeBuddy as well that I use all the time is the SEO Studio. This is gonna help you title and tag your videos better. So remember, we're going after the word how to make chocolate chip cookies without eggs. And so we can see that this SEO score is 62%. So you can start tweaking this title and adding what you're going to put in this description box to make your SE score go up. And it's also giving you tips on how to improve your SE score. So how to make chocolate chip cookies without eggs in under 10 minutes. And you give it a minute and TubeBuddy will let you know how that affects the score. We brought it up to 86% because your title now has that keyword, but more naturally worded, not just for a robot, but for humans. Like if humans are looking at how to make chocolate chip cookies without eggs and you say you can teach them in under 10 minutes, obviously your video could do better because somebody wants to know how to make those chocolate chip cookies faster. What you can also do in this particular tool is you can go next and you can add all the tags here and then you can keep going next and you can get a glimpse of all those thumbnails to help you out. Then what you can do is you can save this draft. So when you upload your how to bake chocolate chip cookies without eggs, you can pull this draft right into that video and everything's done for you. Your title, your description box, and your tags. Talk about a freaking time saver. So SEO Studio is definitely one of my favorite tools inside of TubeBuddy and definitely something you need to use when you're getting started. Now the last one that I want to show you here inside of the toolbar is the video topic planner. Now I use Asana but if you're looking for a way to really plan your YouTube video this is a great way as well. So you can see as you go through here you go to your keyword explorer you want to say you want to add this topic to your planner. We go back into the video topic planner you're gonna see down here how to bake chocolate chip cookies and you can start saving your notes, you can start adding those titles and those tags in here as well. Now those three tools alone 100% make TubeBuddy worth the investment, but you're also going to get access to their video analytics. What I love about this is you're going to be able to see what other videos are using as tags. So this is going to help give you a better direction of your videos too. So this is a video from Rosanna Pancino, um, I probably butchered her last name, but she's talking about the perfect chocolate chip cookie recipe. And if you go to search rankings, you can see which tag she's actually ranking for when it comes to this particular video. So this could help you figure out how to position your video as well. And then this one is awesome. This is an additional thing that you're getting when you install TubeBuddy. You can come right into your videos and you can click this little TubeBuddy tool and immediately get started with their tools. So for example, if I want to do A-B test with this particular video, I'm going to click on the A-B test. It's going to take me to the page and I can do an A-B test with a thumbnail, a title, anything like that. And that's why I love the legend to be able to test thumbnails. So you can see specifically the A-B test that I do have. If we go here for this particular video, I tested a pink border versus no pink border. And you can start to see, you know, which one got clicked on in YouTube search, which one got clicked on in suggested browse feature. And it's going to give you all that information inside of here. Like I said, if you want to get started with TubeBuddy, there is a link below for you to go to. I am an affiliate of TubeBuddy, but you can also save 20% off of whatever plan you choose by using my code Trina's buddy. And if you want to see more detailed how I use TubeBuddy to research my videos, make sure you watch the video that's on your screen right now that goes through the entire process that I do for planning and organizing all of my YouTube content. Click on that video and I'll see you over there.